Picture this. You're a commodities trader. And let's just say that sometimes in this world, there are some less than scrupulous individuals. It's very hard to understand if someone really is who they say they are. One day you're contacted by someone named Amit Kumar, and he claims that he has the soybeans you're looking for for a Chinese buyer. Now, you know a few things about him, but Amit Kumar is a very common name, and you wanna look him up on Ferret to make sure that this is somebody that you can do business with. Well, you look him up, and first, Ferret knows that there are some aliases that someone with this name might use. Could be Mita, could be Amita. How do we get to the right person that you're looking for? Well, Ferret does this by asking a series of questions. For this search, I know the name of the person I'm looking for. I know that he's from Delhi, but he works in Hong Kong. So that's going to get rid of the majority of the false positives here. But there's a couple people it still could be. What company do I know him from? Well, I know him from Transnational Associates. And now my search strength is very strong. I select complete search. It's a good thing I had checked Ferret first because this trader I almost did business with is on a US government watch list. It's illegal for me to do business with this guy. Now, this kind of thing is more common than you think. My contact actually used one of his aliases, Mita, and probably has a string of negative lawsuits. Look here, a previous bankruptcy too. This is a scenario where checking Ferret first prevented me from doing business with somebody that actually could have gotten me in trouble. Remember, before you regret it, get Ferret. You deserve to know who you're dealing with.